it's important that you know that Self Help Switzerland was founded, I think, 15 years ago. And it was founded, the national organization, the umbrella organization, was founded by the regional self help centers, clearing houses. At this time, 2001, 2000, there were around 14 um, clearing houses all over Switzerland. And they wanted that an organization, a national organization, is kind of centralizing um, the self help movement is doing the lobbying and the promotion of self-help on the national level and also promotes the, the building up new central um, clearing houses in other regions, which there were no um, clearing houses. And that's how we started. And 2004, we had the first field research about the clearing houses in Switzerland. And now, 10 years later, we have 19 clearing houses now. And the 19 clearing houses with us, we decided together that we should redo a research, a field research. And this time it's not only, well, not really only, but it's not only about only the situation of the clearing houses, how do we work, what kind of problems do we have, no. We also want to know what is the self-help, what is the signification, significance, no, significance, significance, and the meaning of self-help in the health and social system. So now I give the words to Bettina, and she will tell you about the study. So, I have the pleasure to present you this um, national research project. It's actually just the, the research design. Um, we don't have any results yet. Um, this project is called the uh, National Research Pro Project about Community Self-Help in Switzerland, the Significance, Development and its Contribution to Healthcare and Social Services. We'll first have a look on the goals of the research project as well as on its organization. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I'll give you a summarized uh, overview of the study. And last but not least, some words uh, about the schedule and the financi financing aspects. So, the goals. The, the, the main goal is actually the examining, we want to examine the current situation of uh, community self-help in Switzerland, in particular the significance and the benefits of com community self-help, its limits and its promotion conditions and perspectives. So, these aspects are examined on three levels. Uh, the first level is the micro level, that's the meaning the individual related context, so it's the activities in the groups, in the self-help groups. The second level is the meso level, or in other words the institutional context, context like the self-help centers, the networking between the self-help centers and the services or uh, uh, higher up. And the third level is the macro level. Um, meaning the general significance um, for healthcare and social services. Um, as you see here, the research project is under the general supervision of the Foundation Council of Self-Help Switzerland, while the decisional power um, belongs to the project steering group consisting of Carmen and me, representing Self-Help Switzerland, and uh, the researcher. The, it's Professor Jürgen Stremler from the University for Social Work of Lucerne, who was also responsible for the first study in 2004, together with Professor uh, René Knüssel, the, um, he's from the University of Lausanne, that's in the French-speaking part of Switzerland. So, as you may have noticed, it's a bilingual um, research team, French-German, 
and due to the fact that the uh, self-help support in the Italian-speaking part is similar to the, the one in the French-speaking part, um, we actually tried to, um, to cover the whole uh, cultural scope of Switzerland with this study. It's quite challenging because we have three main languages. And beyond that, there is a scientific supporting group where we have representatives of the self-help centers, the national ones, and uh, an international one, uh, Jürgen, takes also part of this um, scientific supporting group. We also have representatives of the science and research system, of the uh, hospital context, as well as of the mental health and disability field. Um, so this scientific supporting group is meant to give inputs to the research team and represents its, its sounding board. We already had one meeting, so we'll soon have the second one. Uh, so what is the study all about? There are uh, five working packages. The goal of the first module is this, in the sense of getting into the topic to explore, is a distribution analysis of the self-help groups. So this takes into consideration themes of self-help groups, uh, selected features, for instance, the, the group structure, differences in, in healthcare provision, and differences and similarities between groups, between regions. So to explore that, the central database of self-help group that we have in Switzerland is analyzed. Comparisons are made with the first study in 2004. Not that easy because this study covers only the German part of Switzerland. So they already encountered some problems, but they're going to solve them for sure. And possibly a further inventory might be made, but that's not sure either, yet. In the module two, the focus is on the macro and micro level. Um, in the, on the micro level, they will describe um, the, dis the activities, the effects and the limits of self-help groups. And on the macro level, um, means the, the social importance of self-help and its possible limits uh, like a social and socio-economic characteristics of participants, group members will be uh, taken into consideration. For instance, why is it so difficult to have young people in groups or immigrants? Well, in Switzerland that's the case. So to examine that, there will be made some literature reviews, uh, data analysis of the Federal Office of Statistics, interviews of focus groups with the group members, but also interviews with the experts, uh, case studies of difficult group building processes, and settings without self-help activities. We still have regions in Switzerland without any self-help centres. So just to mention a few of the instruments. The, module, the goal of the module 3 is to figure out the significance of uh, self-help centers for the promotion of self-help groups and the professional environment, the so-called MESO level. And to do so, the research team will proceed with interviews with the directors of the self-help centers with relevant authorities and experts, as well as analyze the interrelationships of different factors regarding self-help groups and its dissemination. The module four takes a close look on the international context, you, so be prepared to figure soon in a publication. <laughs> Um, meaning to get through the results of the current dissemination of self-help groups, the development, uh, as well as the promotion conditions in the international context and to co compare them obviously with the situation in Switzerland. And um, finally, module 5 summarizes all these results and um, there will be an evaluation of current provision, healthcare and promotion conditions. 
the identification of the benefits and the limits of community self-help. Conclusions will be made for further development and promotion, uh, as well as recommendations to promote community self-help. Uh, so recommendations for politicians, institutions, expert scientists and researchers. Last but not least, uh, regarding the planning and funds, it can be briefly summed up as it follows. So the pre-project, uh, the actually the elaboration of this um, research design, together with the Foundation Council and the research team, we did that in uh, 2014. And the project has finally started the last January. And it's meant to come to an end, uh, end of 2016. But I think that's a very optimistic planning. <laughs> Um, the planned funding target for the research study was approximately about 250,000 euro, but there are only 155,000 um, available at the project start, so the fundraising continues. And depending on the definitive budget available this autumn in 2015, the, the final definition of the working packages will be, will be made, because maybe we have to cut some, some uh, aspects of the modules. So right now the research team is very busy with the first two modules and the collaboration works very well because that you never know and there are more research, researchers in, in the team and it works very well despite the so-called Röstigraben, you call that in, in Switzerland, it's meaning the language barrier that is within this research team. So um, we hope that there are some interesting results and you will hear about them in two years. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. This new research project can be connected to an earlier one from the year 2004, we said. And one of the researchers from the old one is now part of the team. And uh, I remember I had contact with this Jürgen Stremlo in those old days and asked him to write a short article for our self-help yearbook, as we call it, you know, every year we publish a book on self-help. And he did that. And there was one thing which I never forgot and I quote very often. He had a diagram showing the relationship between the age of a self-help clearinghouse, which means how experienced it is, and the number of staff in a clearinghouse. This is a very small part-time only or two colleagues. In relationship not only to the number of self-help groups in this catchment area, but also the variety. And that was very interesting because the relation was clear that the more experienced and the better equipped the larger the variety. So not only alcohol and cancer, okay, what's new, but also some rare diseases or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that is the best empirical piece for the validation of self help clearing houses. Thank you, Switzerland. <laughs> I'm particularly interested in the research that you're going to be doing with the self-help groups themselves. Um, and it is said that when a self-help group starts to uh, analyse or be under research conditions, that that can change the dynamics. And I just wondered what um, things are in place for those self-help groups, because we've thought of doing similar. Um, so that when a self-help group tries to look at itself and says, well, are we doing what we should be doing, then it changes some kind of energy around, uh, around their, mm -hmm. what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So I would have wondered what, what, what thoughts you have around that. There will be a questionnaire, written questionnaire, but there also will be interviews with the, the Contact person and the yeah. contact person. Yes, contact person. But 
as we do this work with and for the clearing houses and the clearing house, maybe Antonis will um, explain that as well. They have a lot better contact than we as a national um, organization with the groups, and so they are actually they, we need their help to get the contact to the groups and also that they know which kind of groups they can ask uh, for the personal <coughs> interview and which groups not. So they have a lot more um, knowledge about that. If I may make a comment without being asked. <laughs> First of all, that's a very tricky question concerning the methodology. No, how you do it, uh, not too big questionnaires, things like that. When we did research on self help groups a long time ago, we were very hesitating because of exactly that. Mm -hmm. Are we entitled to touch their process? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not such a holy thing, their process, mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. right? Some of them simply said, no, leave us alone. That's what Ed said, they are not made for filling out questionnaires. Mm -hmm. Some, some reacted very strongly to our offer to give back the results. For example, we made them even fill out uh, personality questionnaires, so that was very intimate, right? But without their clear names, they had, what, I don't know, the, the birth date of their mother or whatever, something you don't forget, if you have a nice mother. And so they could identify their own results and then they came, they wanted to see the, the, how do you say in diagrams the curves, or how do you call that? No, how, how, how depressed am I? Am I more depressed than the others? Is my depression going down, etc. They were highly interested. Last remark, for me it is very important not only to ask the group leaders, because if you ask the group leaders if everything is okay, they tell you that everything is okay. So do ask some more people.